錦山君終わったかこれでようやく落ち着けるな錦なんだそりゃ爆弾かユミバカなことはやめろダメよ100億をあなたに渡す You're right here's the cash and then slide it over to him and then just slowly back away and then blow it up まあそうだろうな、ね、当然の話か錦お前まだ諦めていないのか当たり前だ俺どんな犠牲を払っても登場会の後目になるなあ錦そりゃ無理だお前神宮に踊らされていたんだ神宮の本当の目的はなあなことは分かってる分かってたんだよ俺はえどういうこと言ったろキリュウ俺は10年前お前を裏切ったあの日から誰も信用しちゃいねえってな神宮が俺に話を持ってきた時から信用しちゃいなかったんだじゃあお前は全てを知っててああそうだ俺は負けたくなかったんだよ俺はお前に負けたくなかったんだよキリュウユミを愛してるだがユミは一度も俺を振り向いてはくれなかったユミの中にはお前しかいなかった10年前の事件の後俺の目の前からお前という存在が消えたその時俺は決意したんだ運命を変えるためにどんな犠牲も払うってなその犠牲が親さんやレーナだったっていうのかそうだ俺は100億を手に入れ登場会を継ぐそしてお前から弓を奪い返すそれで初めて俺の運命が変えられるんだ錦山君やっぱり分かってない何そんなことして何になるのそうやって変えた運命じゃ幸せになんてなれないあなたは自分に都合の悪いことから逃げてるだけ本当に運命を変えたいなら辛いことも全て受け止めてそれでも逃げないで立ち向かうことなんじゃないのカズマやハルカのようにうるさいどうしてお前は俺を認めてくれないんだ錦<笑>なんだ俺にはお前の苦しさがわかる俺は一番大切にしていたお前たちを失ったもう戻ろうと思っても10年前に戻ることはできねえもうその運命から逃げることはできねえだから決着をつけようなあ決着をつけよう俺たちの戦いに Just seeing cross counters like that. They're just so cool. Anyway, Nishiki's our final boss. The purple health bar. Yeah, I think that means he has five. Anyway, I've got to do him a courtesy and not just tiger drop him to death. Aw, boo. I didn't say I wouldn't use everything else in my arsenal, though. <laughs> Nishiki is not so bad if you have like fully maxed out dragon style. Otherwise, it's gonna be a lot of rush style to dodge around him and uh. using all the furniture to heat act on him so he doesn't recover. Also, occasionally you'll get these little QTEs. Hey! <laughs> 
私のあの人じゃあのつもりです何でもするか自分の目で確かめる人が何かなりつてっぺんに立ってる Please tell me somehow we'll end up on the top of a submarine. Uh, no. Sadly not. Alright,、um, so, so this game is only a 9 out of 10. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, Nishiki. I don't know what he has against that tree. I hate potted plants. Also, occasionally he'll taunt you. It's, it's kind of great. He has some pretty great taunts in English, too, I believe. Um, Normally I get mad over like, him regenerating, but I, I figured I'd let him recover a little bit just to draw it out a little more. Also, this is one of the few songs in the game that got like a. A remaster like what people were expecting instead of、uh, a techno y remix. Also,、uh, Akira or、uh, Nishiki is very susceptible to、uh, Komaki style parry. Like, if I were actually tiger dropping him, like, this fight would be over. Now I just want to see how fast you could beat him if you only tiger dropped him. <laughs> あなたのことずっと忘れられなかったの記憶を取り戻した後もこうしてあなたのことを私弱い女だった記憶を失ってからも本当はあなたのことだけはうっすらと覚えていたの名前は思い出せないでもあなたの笑顔や仕草が浮かんでいたでも誰だかわからない全てを思い出せないそんなあなたのことを待ち続けることができなかっただから神宮のことをでもねはるかは何もかも失った私にとってたった一つの宝物だっただからはるかとお別れに行った時思わずこのペンダントをあげてしまったの私の一番大切なものを持っていてほしかったからはるか私のせいで怖い思いさせてごめんねカズマ私私まだやらなきゃいけないことがあるの。
金はあってはならないだからもう消そうと思うのユミけじめくらい俺に付けさせるやめろやめるんだ錦錦前から言えなくてすまなかった好きだったお前のことがカ,カズマこれこれあなたが持っていてくれたのシンジがシンジのやつが死ぬ前に錦から奪い返したんだよかったまた帰ってきたあなたが私にくれたたった一つのプレゼントだもんねあ,ありがとうねあ,あ私結局すべてから逃げてたのかもしれないあなたからも錦山くんからもでもね私後悔はないのあなたを忘れないためにまた記憶がなくなってしまっても思い出せるようにってこの入れ墨を入れたの月下美人一夜でもいい一目でもいいからもう一回カズマに会いたかった。その夢が叶ったの。
お母さんはるかいいはるかはどんなことがあっても逃げちゃダメ逃げたら私みたいに幸せ逃がしちゃうからいいぜ絶対に逃げちゃう。後で話すお前ら銃を下げろ桐生お前は悪くねえだがこの山で逮捕されたらもうシャバに出れん俺についてこいもういいんだ伊達さん由美も錦も風間のおやつさんももうみんないないだから人思いに逮捕してくれふざけるなお前の戦いはまだ終わってねえはずだかけがえのねえものを守り続けろ逃げるんじゃねえかけがえのない<笑>そうだお前が無所に行けばこの子はまた一人だお前それでもいいのか伊達さん来やがったなおいキリュウこっちだじゃあお前らしっかりやれよ行くぜ頼む<笑>ちゃんと終わったのかよ襲名式と引退式はああ義理は果たしたつもりだしかし聞いたことねえよな組長の襲名披露と引退式が同時なんてよで五代目は誰にしたんだ<笑>まあ世良会長やおやつさんに恥ずかしくねえやつにしたよん誰なんだまあ意外なやつだよおい元会長つけられてるぞえおいもしかしてあいつが5代目なのかああやつならきっちり登場会を立て直すさ。じゃあ行くぜああもう戻ってこないのかさあなまた伊達さんから呼ばれることがあれば来るかもしれないぜそうかだが残念ながらそれはないと思うぜ俺はしばらくさやと暮らしてみるよ今までになかった家庭ってのを楽しんでみるさおうじゃあなおさら俺がいない方がいいなああもう
胃が痛い毎日とはおさらばだよ。じゃあな、もう警察の世話になんじゃねえぞ。大丈夫だ。あいつと一緒なんだからな。そうだな。Don't worry, we will see more of the dog in Kiwami too. Okay. Really? Something,、Amaz、something. It's、Amaz、around Christmas time. Amazing Grace? <laughs> like, who cares if it's around Christmas? This is where you're like, we need to save a couple bucks on licensing. <laughs> That's what they did in the original PS2 version, too, I believe. Yeah, this is just a callback. That's why they kept it in. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Yakuza Kiwami. Like, give me, like, uh. Oh, winter. Is it Winter Garden? <laughs> oh, uh. uh Trans Siberian Orchestra. Wizards <laughs> of Winter. Give me that shit. Sorry. You're, uh. You're, like, 13 years late on that. That's what I get for not being hired as a consultant on video game creation. <laughs> All these great ideas. Wasted. So, what do you think of Yakuza Kiwami overall?、Uh, I never thought that I would add another boy crush to my list. But Kiryu is just the kind of man to be on that list. I thought you were gonna say Majima. <laughs> Look, I'm not not including Majima. You just <laughs> didn't let me finish. <laughs> you only implied that there, there was gonna be one. Nah, you're just reading too much into it. <laughs> <laughs> I will never not like. Both Kiryu and Majima. Although, if I had to choose only one, <laughs> then it's gotta be Majima. Sorry. <laughs> that, that one eyed freak is just so goddamn lovable. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much to like about Majima, even when he's not in a starring role. <laughs> and, you know, he's voiced by Mark Hamill, so <laughs> what are you gonna do?、Uh, it is a shame they couldn't, or they didn't do a dub for. Because I would have loved to hear Hamill's voice some of this goofy stuff from <laughs> the Majima Everywhere system. Just that slightly, like, I smoke one and a half packs a day of voice that he does. <laughs> yeah, just like hearing Mark Hamill lecture someone about putting their trash in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wow, <laughs> Luke, you, you, thanks for explaining recycling to me. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, oh, only Sith don't recycle. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's Yakuza Kiwami. It's a pretty good game overall.、Um, Nine out of ten. Yeah, really, the only reason it's a nine in my book is because it is basically an expansion pack to zero, and zero is amazing. I mean, watching it and not having played any of it just seems to me like they could have tightened up a little bit of the experience in terms of like combat. Um, and, yeah, yeah,、uh, the combat is, I feel like, was them overcompensating for、uh, zero, because zero could lean a little more on the easy side. And, like, I like the idea of the four different styles, being able to just like build your character how you want it, but there's clearly a point where it didn't it didn't really get balanced for its own rework. And then you end up having like these, in like, you know, 9999 experience bars that you can't do anything with. 
Yeah. And, and I don't know. To me, it's just like you could have just locked that off at zero. Like, like oh, you, you know, the game checks that you're, you're full up. But it, it's like really the main takeaway is that it's it's minor stuff. Like the combat could have been polished. You could have changed a couple of things here and there, presentation. But overall, like other than my utter and complete dislike for Mezu King, there's nothing that I, I don't feel like I could really fault this game. Yeah, like as a remake of the original game, it is pretty solid. Hmm. Um, I, I guess it's like I, I guess it doesn't feel as like ambitious as the original game was just because, you know, the, the original game was the first of its kind. It. I, I guess some people might say like it was genre defining because Let's be honest, the Yakuza games kind of feel like a genre of their own mm -hmm. in some respects. And I, yeah, I, I feel like if there's a reason for it to feel like it, it it's like genre defining it is probably the fact that like, and this this may just be me taking the wrong sort of like info, but. I watched um, a no clip documentary about Final Fantasy XIV, and it seems like, and uh, actually like Witcher as well, and it just seems like the open world sort of exploration isn't really much of a thing. It's not very popular out in Japan. Mm. So, so it it seems to me like Yakuza was for Japan probably one of the first games that really like took off and really like popularized the idea. And I think it does it well enough in that, like, it gives you enough sub-stories to mess around and try a lot of different things, while not just being like, like, um, ah, what was a good example? There's a, there's a game recently I remember playing where it's like, you could, you would just always have quests and you'd always be redoing, oh, um, Skyrim. Skyrim... Like, it's quest design, I think, is poor because you're always doing the exact same thing. And and while I obviously the games are different in how their story progresses and, and that sort of thing, it's similar enough that it's clear that Yakuza, like, pushes for one experience and, like, knocks it out of the park. Yeah, like, I think that's fair to say, like, it, Yakuza, the Yakuza series kind of is open world-ish, but it's not open world like GTA or Skyrim, like, instead of a wide world of things for you to, like, explore and discover, you got a really dense urban area with a whole lot of things to see and do, just in a really tight-packed area, mm -hmm. and everything you do is just so, like, wild and out there. It's like, it's not so open as to make the player feel like they're wandering aimlessly, but not constrained to the point where you feel like you're being railroaded into all, only doing what the game, or like what the developers wanted you to. Right, right. Anyway, now that the credits are over, uh... すまない。またしまったな。遅くなっちゃった。ねえねえ、お母さん。うん。
ねえおじさんは何歳までサンタさん信じてたえいやいくつだっけな信じてたんだ悪かったな There better be a post credit scene where they just decorate a Christmas tree. I am so sorry to disappoint. Damn it! Anyway, now、Why、we have back. Why didn't they play Jingle Bell Rock instead of Amazing Grace? Uh, probably because they would have had to license that song. Can't wait for Jingle Bell Rock to not be licensable anymore. <laughs> anyway, now we, can, now we have access to Climax Battle and Premium Adventure Mode. <gasps>、uh, Climax Battle is basically、um, a bunch of bonus battles and trials you can do.、Mm. Uh, and Premium Ad Adventure is the New Game Plus mode. Right, right. You can start it up with、um, your clear game data, or you can do it fresh. Either way, you're, doing, you're basically just going through the world with no story progression, and you can do whatever you want. I actually really wish that more games would do that. The whole, like, you can play the New Game Plus, but you can choose to do so without anything. Also,、really? yes, this game does have an actual New Game Plus where you can start over and、uh, do things like, I don't know, carry over your fully maxed out Dragon of Dojima style to the first Majima fight. <laughs> just beat his ass. Yeah, get all that experience. <laughs> all that 9999 experience. <laughs> anyway,、uh, what's left for this LP is finishing up some side stories and the bonus boss, which、uh, comes after we do all the side stories.、Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll look at premium, or,、um, sorry, climax battles for a little bit. I'm not going to do them all because I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> But. Wow, harsh. Look, I'm not, I don't want to actually have to commit to potentially fighting Jingu again. I can't support you when you're the one putting yourself down. <laughs> fair, like, fair. <laughs> like you're making my job as a co, co commentator hard. Anyway, that's what's coming up, so、uh, look forward to that. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> 